So, um, I'd like to show you guys uh, basically how to look at animation in one of our files. Um, it can be a little bit confusing. So, here I've opened uh, a shot from the market scene, 3.4b, and uh, this is what it looks like if you look in this view as I scrub around. And to recap, it's kind of uh, cluttered, so I'm going to just turn on only render so you can see what the shots are, what the shot is. So, um, I'm going to split this view over here. And so we got a 3D view, and by going to Shift F6, I've toggled on the graph editor. Um, so as soon as we get there, we see a bunch of uh, vertical lines. And by pressing Shift Middle Mouse button and scrubbing around, I can see, um, yeah, that there's a lot here. I'm going to zoom with Control Middle Mouse or uh, Mouse Wheel. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff here. To frame everything up nicely, I'm going to just press home. So this is a lot of animation, not and not all of it is even showing. But uh, this is what the scene looks like. And if we go over here, I'm going to press A and then numpad minus. And that collapses all the channels. Um, and now we can see, all right, we're looking at animation for these two extras, man and the woman, the dragon, Sintel. No idea what that is. Uh, plus camera animation. There's just a lot here. Um, so we only want to look at what's relevant to us. So let's let's focus on the baby dragon. I'm just going to select baby dragon's rig and you'll notice it's selected here as well. And since it's selected here I could just press V and that should isolate everything to just um, what has been checked um, or, or selected in the in the channels here. So if I've got three things selected and I hit V. Theoretically, that should. Yep, oh, the computer's lagging. That should uh, change what channels are, are viewable. Um, I guess it's not working because I don't actually have the individual channel selected. But in any case, actually, the best way to do this is to go down to this um, mouse cursor icon. And the tooltip says only include channels relating to selected objects and data. So uh, you probably don't want to see. I'm going to press plus, then A to select everything, then V, and you'll see. Okay, this this is the whole scene. You probably don't want to see all that once. So I'm going to press this um, mouse cursor uh, icon, and that will do a really good job of narrowing things down. Now you'll notice if I press home here actually there's nothing that shows up. And uh, this can be a little confusing, um, but the thing is right now we're not in pose mode so we don't have access to the channels and the channels are not selected apparently. So uh, here we can just go in the 3D view um, to pose mode. I'm going to just use the shortcut control tab, but you can also go pose mode, select all, and here we've got all of our channels. So these are all of the animation channels that have animation on them. Wow, that's a lot. The tongue is even animated. Let's just look at the tongue. Um, just select that channel, press V, everything else disappears. Alright, so it's not actually animated, but there are keyframes on it. The keys have to, to be identical. But I'm going to look at all of it, so pressing A here and V to show um, toggle the visibility. Uh, those are the tools that I've already used. A, plus, minus, V. Um, you can border select these channels. Press V again. Home. These are all things that are critical to use to um, be able to navigate and, and figure out what you're looking at in terms of animation. Um, so right now I'm just going to look at the root. Press home again. And there's no animation on the root. What about the hips? Okay, so it's moving pretty linearly, and then we've got on this channel, which is Exquisitorian, um, you know, some rotation there. Uh, to look at, to select a channel, ah, okay, first, really awesome, you can select all the keys to the left and the right of the playhead with control right click. So 
I'm clicking on the right side here and the left side here. Really, really handy. It's also the same in the dope sheet. To select a channel, um, let me see how I did this. Control Alt, um, and that will select all the keys, or basically a channel's worth of keys. You can also use the L key to select a single uh, vertice on, on that curve, and then you know selecting the rest that it's connected to. Um, and then to select all the keys that happen on the same frame, just use Alt, right click to select. Um, I remember in 2.49 there was the K um, sw uh, key which toggled the vertical lines, which is really handy. And this sort of um, gets back to that kind of functionality. Anyway, uh, hopefully that was a little bit useful. Um, while we're here, I'm just going to show you real quickly how to swap out proxies. Because if you notice, I'm on a fairly new laptop here, and it's really chugging to play back. So I'm going to go back first. I'm going to turn simplify to zero. Play it back. So that does work better. But still, it's too too slow. So what I'm actually going to do, these are high resolution proxies, or high, high resolution versions of the uh, of the model that we actually ended up rendering. But I'm going to swap it out for what the animators were actually working with. So I've got it selected, even though you can't see, because of only render. But I believe, oh, I didn't even have it selected. There we go. Whoops. Uh, Dragon Baby is selected. I'm going to go over to the object panel and go down to duplication and you'll see Dragon Baby. Now I'm going to select in this group and you'll see we already have only two options. That is because the libraries are already linked up. But here, all I'm going to do is just change it to Dragon Baby Simple. As you'll see it disappears but if I frame forward it snaps into position. And I'll do the same with Sintel. Select Sintel here. So this is what she looks like. Find a good frame. She's got hair and stuff. We go here, the duplication. Sintel simple. Frame forward. And you'll see this is much better. Now if I turn on only render. Ah! <laughs> we recently turned off renderability um, for these guys. Uh, so instead I have to disable yeah the rig layers but there you go it's much faster it's still only 15 uh, frames per second but I can start um, uh, like what, what layer are these guys on we don't need the extras um, this guy is on this layer so start taking off layers and there we go we're playing in real time um, so, uh, hopefully that is helpful in some way um, in figuring out how to uh, look at these, these files without being a little overwhelmed. Alright, see you in the next one.